Okay, will it work? Maybe, we'll see. Did it work? Not yet. We had a pretty good fail that we're gonna show you just a little bit. Pretty entertaining, actually. We kind of got outsmarted just a little bit by a pig. Pigs were smart though, so we'll see how it goes. Sure, don't touch it. <coughs> so she le she's learning. She's gonna get it. Well, Pearl, you can't be putting your ear on there. No, okay, well that don't work. She can't come out. Dump it out. Can you how? Oh, there's a lot of water in it. Oh yeah. They cleaned it out. There's a lot of the, just drop it for a second. Whew. That's, that's Ew. You need to pull it? Yeah. Okay, so we have a big job to do. I um, hope he's gonna help me this today. It's very light. Is it light? Yeah. You want me to pull it? You got it. Got it. She's pulling the wagon over there. We don't have the ranger here, um, so we're going to use a wagon. We're going to be building uh, the electric fence for the actual Cooney Cooney pigs and for the mini horses. And it's one of them things. I wonder if this is going to keep predators out too. I think it would wild hogs because they root a lot and, and it should shock them pretty good. I should keep them away. What? I think I know what we're going to do. What? We're going to put the Aussie fence around the real fence. So... Nope. Oh, okay. Well, kind of. <laughs> we're making another area for them to get into. Is that what you meant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Like, take one around it so they don't... Yeah. We, like... Did you see where I mowed at? Yes. That's where we're going to put it at. So, we, I mowed a few days ago. We've got a lot of rain. Like, a lot of rain. Like, over two inches of rain two days ago. Um, we actually just got back um, from Texas. We got invited to... Um, the third annual Yee Yee Day, and we went down there. I didn't film very much at all. Um, what I did film, I think Brandy's going to make a video over on her channel. Um, what's Mom's channel name? Do you remember? Count it all joy. Count it all joy. So if you want to see what we did down there, uh, she recorded a lot more than me um, this year. Last year we, we recorded a lot over the last couple of years, but this year I was just more more or less just kind of hanging out and taking it in and enjoying the family and didn't really video a whole lot but brandy she filmed more than me so count it all joy or dutch eats whichever one will get you over there um and you can see that probably tomorrow this is sunday actually we just got home from church and uh, we need to get busy um it got we got a lot of rain yesterday two days ago while we were in texas came back the place was flooded this morning it's starting to dry a little bit um but it's it's pretty wet here but I got a surprise for you. I sure do. So the more I think about it, I think I, I want to be able to run the fence. I let this electric fence I got all the way up to this gate right here where I could just open the gate and these pigs can just go right down the fence row into the other field over here. That way, that way, um, I don't, I could put them in the, in the, uh, the horse pen pretty easily. But then I'd have to be fighting them in that big pan um, to get them, like, if I want to let the pigs only go, it'd be a mess. So I think, put them in long ways. Put, them, put the pointy in that way. Yeah. Yeah, put the pointy in down. See? No, down here. And it, that's okay. That's going in the dirt anyways. There you go. Just like that. Um, so I don't want to have to fight the horses to let them in too if we just want the cooney coonies out. I think I'm going to make a little alleyway right here. And I may have to run to the store and get a few more of these. I think I got like 30 or 31 of them. I plan on spacing them out between 10 and 12 foot. I figured that would probably be okay with electric fence. We'll see. We'll see how it goes up and how I like it. I think this will be enough, I think. Like, is it, are we going to put all the way back here or just right there? No, we're going to go, I'm thinking, over, all the way up there. Come all the way down here, make an alleyway, and then we'll make our way all the way around. Yeah, I think we'll need to have more. Maybe get a few more. So our first step, what we're going to do, Hope, I'm going to let you hand them to me as I place them in there. And I'm just going to uh, count off with my feet and whatnot. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the predator issue that we're having and the trap. You guys watched the last video. We actually caught probably the biggest raccoon I've ever seen in my life on there. I didn't get very good footage of it for you guys. We're going to be setting the trap again now that we're home. I told you guys I was uh, unsetting the trap because we had something going on. We were down in Texas for a couple days. You better back up, Bobby. I turned the camera off and you started yelling at me. <laughs> What'd you find? I just found 
Just <laughs> hold it over and see if they'll eat it. They don't see it yet. That's funny. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna eat that. It's like a weed. Throw it. Oh, got me. There you go. Okay, real quick while I got you guys here, before we get started on the fence, I want to tell you guys about our Oki Homestead and Expo. They she just went after him. Or he just went after them. Anyways, our Oki Homestead Expo, our second annual expo, we're actually, uh, prior, two days prior to the expo, we were putting on a whole hog workshop. Um, if you guys are interested in learning how to process your own hog, your own pig at home, this is the class you guys need to get in on. Um, we still have a few tickets available for that um, day one where you actually get to go to the farm, learn how to dispatch, learn how to scold and scrape, learn how to cut up meat and all that stuff. And then the second day, um, the second day um, we'll be at a workshop there at the prior fairgrounds where they're actually going to show you which cuts are what, going to cut it up for you, we're going to wrap it, and then they're going to go into a curing class where you're going to learn the old way of salt curing. It's going to be awesome. So if you guys are interested in that, we'd love to see you guys there. And like I said, all the information will be down below, pinned comment and description box. So hope, you, hope to see you guys there. Even if you don't make that, hope to see you at the expo itself, June 2nd and 3rd, coming up really, really quick. What did you find? Are they worms? Cover it back up. We can use them for bait later in case we go fishing. Right yeah, cover them back up. Uh, you getting a tick on you? Is that one? No, it's a freckle. Oh. He is going crazy today. Anyways. So let's get busy, Hope. You can stay right here, and I'm gonna walk down there and uh, put the first one up, and then you can start handing them to Do me. Do you want my phone? Sure. Do you want me to bring them to you? Uh, yeah, just a second, though. So I was thinking like 10 feet. I think I can go farther than that. I think I can. So we'll see. One, two, three, four, Let's go 15 feet. And that looks that doesn't look like 15 feet, it looks less than that. So we need yardstick. Yeah. A bunch of yardstick. We need five yardsticks for 15 feet. Right? Probably. Hi Millie. Millie wants to help us. Millie doesn't know what's going on. Okay, I need some more. Yeah. And I'm just making an alleyway right here. Can I put we're gonna one go through here. Yeah, we're gonna go right through here. Okay, here, hold this. Hold on, go this way. Right here. Yeah, we're gonna need a few more. Let me right see. Here. Right. Okay. Let's push down on it. There you go, perfect. Okay. So we will set the camera up over here and then we'll start putting them down here and we'll catch up with you guys in just a minute. Part while you put him in? Yeah. Just walk a little ways and I'll tell you when. We're gonna try it. Yeah, right in there somewhere, Hopi. But on the edge, don't get in the grass itself because I want you getting a bunch of ticks on you. Right here. Yeah, that's probably good. Get closer to the edge. Okay. <coughs> right here. Yeah, that'll work. Huh. I could twist it whenever I need to. But that's, that's good. You can see the goal here. Your pop is getting muddy. Let me see it. And I also dropped it, so it might explode. Hold on. You want a drink? Right here. Be good. I got yeah, go on this corner because we're making a turn. So yeah, do it right here, Hope. Right? Do it right here. Okay. Right there. And we'll make a turn. There you go. It's on this a rock down there. You want to hit? Uh-huh. Okay, you want me to grab it? 
The cats are following us. I think we might make, be able to make this work. We're just spread them out a lot further than I was wanting to. The goal is hopefully we can get the the poly string or whatever you call it tape poly tape to actually stay tight. I don't know. I've never used this stuff before. And we got a miniature pond right there. There you go. Perfect. I'm gonna smash it all the floor. <laughs> Not do that. Something hard there. You get it? Yeah. Hopefully. She said if a bobcat comes in here, let's get shocked. <laughs> if it runs into the wire, it'll probably just jump over it, crawl underneath it. Our main concern is the wild hogs. And I think it'll be just, I think it'll work good because their nose is usually to the ground. It, obviously, if something really wants to get in there, they can just run right through it. That's with anything, pretty much. What? Is that too far? Uh -uh. Do one right here. Okay. What do it? Right in there. Something hard. It keeps on being like a big rock down there or something. Mm -hmm. So the only concern I have about ins this installation is just hopefully I can get it tight enough, being in such a, a long area and making like a round turn, just tight enough where it's not loose and um, it stays it stays where it's gonna work. Okay, Bobby's up there on the on the uh, shelter. You see him? Yeah. He's way up there. So we're gonna finish getting these knocked out and then we'll pull off this. We'll figure up this right here. We got plenty. Yeah, go in, go in more right there, hubby. Look, right here. I have a solar charger that I had out in the sun. So hopefully it's charged up. If not, I might end up putting it on the battery charger to charge it um, because we want to let them out today. It's such a nice day. Um, we want to get them out here on this to start eating some of this. Mostly because so they don't like run off and we let them out. Exactly, that's, that's the whole purpose, yep. Looks like Eddie already wants out. What's up, Eddie? You want out already? We've almost got it all the way up, buddy. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Let's give us a little bit. So we got a two inch poly tape, portable electric fence tape, and there is a tick on it. Get off oh that tick. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So uh, yeah, be careful for ticks. Yeah. It's 500 feet. So what I'm gonna try to do is start down here. I'll probably tie it up down at the bottom. And then we're just gonna make our way all the way around and see how well this holds up. How's Millie feeling today? I think good. I think mom said he, he she wasn't feeling the best the other day. She was eating her food last night. So. Oh really? I may have to go get some cutters for this. I've actually never really tried to cut this, but I'm, I'm guessing there's some sort of wire in it um, for the electric current. Maybe not though, we'll find out. I would assume there is. So. Oh, Bobby went in there. Yeah, I'll go, go film Bobby trying to fight. Okay. Chief is fighting Bobby. Bobby literally went in there for no reason at all. And Eddie, I mean, Chief was just sitting right in front of him. It's not your feeding time yet, babies. Okay. But I might give you a little treat, guys. Okay. Oh. You almost bit my finger, Chief. Hey. What are you doing, Eddie? Who knows? It's soft. He's being very aggressive. Bobby's being very aggressive here let's go see i think he always moves backwards when i go behind him like he moves backwards and like turns his body bobby okay. hey bobby
Let's go! That was a rooster. Oh, don't bite me. Eddie almost just bit me, Dad. His teeth. I wonder what they're finding over there. I think I need to go back over there to help put on the fire. Not wire. Fire. Yep, so there's wire in this, which I assume there was. I'm gonna have to go get some cutters. I'll get back in a second. Yeah, so you might have just seen that me and my dad put those white things up. Now, he went to go get some pliers, I think they're called. Not like the little ones, like tweezers, but like big pliers to cut wire. And so he said that I could let the chickens out and the rooster, Jack. Oh, there's a bunch of flies. Okay, so I left them free. That came out. There's still some chickens in here. Two, three, four chickens. There's Tilly. Pick the camera. There's Snow White. I, I was gonna name her Cookie. And then, then her cat, cause she obviously already hisses. And you're Tilly already, Tilly. And there's three eggs in there. Now I'm gonna go help my dad put the wire on, but first let's see if there's eggs in there. I don't think there's, cause the like newest chickens, they're not new, but like the newest chickens compared to our old ones, they don't sleep in, the newest ones don't sleep in there anymore so we just close that up they slip with the old chickens and yes yeah, so now I'll I'll film you I'll film me and my dad putting the wire up. I'm gonna do this and you're gonna stick it in here. Yeah. Make sure it's flipped over right. Yep. You see how you gotta flip it? Yeah like this. Well does it flip right down there? Yeah, like that. Look. Yep, like that. And it goes slides right down in the middle there. Until it clicks. Yep. Maybe I should have watched a video on how to people do this. But we may have to get some more to space it out. I think we'd get put it up in the middle. Well we're gonna do one on the bottom, then come up and do one on in the middle. So as long as we can keep it off the ground and keep the grass from hitting it. This is, this isn't staying up. Yeah, I know. We, I think when we pull it, it will go. Yep, here, hold this. You can, you won't, what are you doing? It's not staying. Let me do that job. Yeah. Let me set the camera up. We need to get some more of these. Is that the right way? Mm-hmm. This way goes this way. Hey guys, we made a lot of progress all the way over there. He string it out and I went like this to make sure it's going the right way and clicked it on there. Yeah, you ready? Yeah.
Okay, I already almost used 500 feet of that. Here they are, Hobie. So now we gotta figure out how we're gonna get it to stay tight. I'm probably gonna have to tie the plastic one down there somehow. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll be back just a minute. I have the measuring You found your little pencil. This. Pouches, huh? You're gonna do some carpentry work, aren't you? A level. That's what's up. Look, I have a little hammer, little hammer. and this little pliers. Oh, wow. I don't think we're gonna need those today, but we did get the second strand up. We had to run to the store and get some more. And I have this. Good job. You look like a worker. Thanks for all the help. You're welcome. Um, so we did put the second strand up. We didn't show you guys that. We was trying to get it done. Um, but what I'm going to do, I got two Premier One um, solar battery fence chargers. And this battery is showing me that it's bad. But this one I took out of the other one, it's showing it's good. And there's some wire mess up on this one. So I'm going to do some switching and swapping and see if we can't get one of them to work. Yeah. Kind of Switch this battery out. I can see some corrosion on it. This one in here. And I got a, a charge, a fence um, tester to see how much voltage we're getting to. So that's all good. Okay. Gotta switch these battery cable out. Okay, and we'll go up here. This other battery was shown it had some charge on it, which is amazing because I haven't used it in a year. We'll see. And the solar wasn't hooked up to it, but it was still showing it had some. And this one. I don't know if I could have done that without you. You're a good help. No, thank you. No, thank you. Getting this buttoned up. Hopefully, so if this all works, we're going to let the pigs out. But if it doesn't, we're going to. I'm probably going to buy another solar charger somewhere. The negative one hooks down here at the bottom. Actually, like that. And like this. I'm gonna have to rob some more pieces. Like that. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Did you just shock you? No, but it popped the truck. Okay, so we're good to go on this one. Here you go, Hopi. Let's go hook it up. We're good little helpers together. Yep, we're teamwork. Teamwork makes it teamwork. Hi, Bob. Why do you keep on following us? Bob, he just keeps on following us each way. See, look, we got this little tiny one. It's tinier than this big one. We did it all the way around. We have our own little system that we made. Mm -hmm. He puts it around, I hook it, and straighten it. Yeah, it's in there. Now I'll see if it works. Okay. Do you want me to throw a stick at it? No, watch. So we're gonna just hook it up here just like this. I'm not gonna touch it. We're gonna, no, we're gonna use it, let me see. If you're not familiar with the um, hog netting stuff we use, you hook it up to right there, and then hit this little button over here. And this is this old panel. Is that Yeah, panel? it's on, I can hear it popping. But I do have a tester. I have a tester. I don't have the other tester this uh, fish charger came with, but I do have this one. Wait, hold on. Let me. Hopefully, that's gonna work. I know what's in here. Six thousand volts. I'm gonna hook the fence up. Push that button down there, okay? Push it off on the other side. See it over there? Oh yeah. Okay, now it's off. It'll stop popping. See it here? No popping. Yeah.
Look at Eddie. It's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> I think he's trying to bite you. He's trying to lick on me. There's this little bug that keeps on. So I'm just going to push him in here just like this. What's it for? It connects these two together so that the bottom one will connect to the other one. So they both suck at the same time? Mm hmm. Now, Hopi, Hopi thinks it'd be a good idea to put one in the middle, and I think I agree with her. Um, but we're not going to, we're just letting for the pigs to run down. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, the dogs can jump right through this, and yeah. coyotes. But every Bob anytime, yeah, anytime we're going to let them go, though, we're going to definitely be here. We have to let them out here. But pigs, I think they'll get shocked through that. Yeah, so that's what we got set up. Mainly for, it's mainly for the horses, but the pigs also, Hopi. I don't think they're gonna have any problem with the horses trying to get through there. The pigs, I think, are gonna Just go look. straight up to there and get shocked. What? If I was a pig, this would be smart, but we did it where they can't. Yep. I would put my little tusk under that and, and lift push it, it up. up. They might do it, huh? Yeah. So this isn't touching anything hot, um, so it's not gonna make this uh, electrify. It's just holding that together right there. All the hotness is right there. So let's hook it back up and see what it does. Guys, expect not to have as high a voltage. Oh, where's the voltmeter? The meter you put in your pouch. Let me see that. Hold it. We'll test it again to see what we got. Oh, got me. Ooh. It's on. It's definitely on. We're still getting between four, we're still getting about 500 volts. So now we, I am gonna have to come back over here and we're going to test it way down there, away from um, the actual source. But I'm not sure which way it's traveling. I guess it's probably traveling back that way down and back this way. So we'll get down here and check it again. I'll just do the little wrist test. Um, but I do have some weeding I'm going to have to do. The grass hasn't really taken off since I mowed. And that will help get the voltage through here also. Huh. Don't touch it, Opie. Uh, you hear it? Huh? Yeah. Let's go all the way down here. It's a dog. Here's I think the dogs know that shocks. Cause like remember the old pen mm -hmm. for when Tom Percy were at babies? Yeah. Like super little. Now they're humongous. See now this is touching the ground right here. Let's see. <laughs> yep. Perfect. No, it's not touching it. All right, let's do the old toucheroo. Yep, they got me. Okay, so here's the interesting part. Hope we grab all that trash, bring it over here. Yeah. Gracie, Gabby, you have to get back. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to stand right here. I'm gonna open this up right here, open this up, and we're gonna get them in this little area. And they'll probably hang out right here first before we can make their way over there. So let's test it out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not yet. So, if person doesn't come over here before Pearl does, let Pearl in and close it and then... I'll get it. It's kind of hard. Let me get it. Okay. I'm going to touch it. You don't have to. Okay. Pearl, don't touch it. So, oh. she le she's learning. I got her. Come on. Her ear got shot. Do what? Her little her ear got shot? That's good though, it'll teach her to stealth defense. And now they can graze. Go in there, go in there and crowd him out this way. Okay, now Percy's gonna learn. Hey, get him over here. Tap him on the butt. <laughs> I guess he don't wanna go. Get a little stick, get a little, that little stick right there that you just stepped on. And then, and get him going this way. She's gonna get hit again. Her little ear will. Hey, give him a little whack. Give him a little whackaroo. Look at him. She's gonna get it. Well, Pearl, you can't be putting your ear on there. 
No. Okay, well, that don't work. She can't come out. She jumped right over it. Oh, uh, come on, Hobie. <laughs> we definitely need another one. Sure, we're not letting him out. He's easy to get back. Dang it. Jump right in the middle of it. I was kind of afraid of that, but I was hoping she wouldn't do it. That's funny. Okay. So, that was a fail. Somewhat. Thing is, I think we have enough to run down the middle of it. What's she doing? Yeah, she don't she didn't like that. Sorry, buddy. See, we'll be able to get her back in pretty easily. Yeah. Both of them really, but yeah, they jumped right to the middle of it. And the thing about it pulses, so there's a few seconds in between each pulse that they have. Definitely are not gonna be leaving these two out at all uh, unsupervised. <laughs> oh, dang it. Did you see her jump right through the middle of it? So the question is, will it work? Yes and no. What we just did is not gonna work because she jumped right down the middle of it. But, yeah. what? Yeah. But she didn't get shocked. Her belly barely touched it before really? it even shocked. Oh, that's funny. Well, Pearl, you outsmarted the electric fence. <sighs> that's okay, though. Now we know she's a real pig. We're going to be setting the trap up again probably tomorrow. Oh, we don't want Percy out, so. Okay. So, leave us some comments down below. Let, you, let us know what you think. I think the horses are going to be fine with the two, two strands, but we better just go ahead and put the third one up before we even attempt the horses. And we're probably going to do that tomorrow. And we'll do that on Brandy's channel. So her next video, she will be posting letting the mini horses out for the first time. You've seen the Cooney Cooney pigs out for the first time, and she definitely outsmarted us. What are you doing? He fell right in the middle of their drinking water. Get a scoop of food. Huh, Pearl. Yes, good girl. <laughs> Good job, this got me all muddy. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video of us doing some work around here. It's the first time we ever used the poly, the poly string. You guys could tell, obviously, she jumped right through the middle of it. Okay, she's a, a pearl. I didn't know you could jump that high. I didn't know you could jump six inches. So we'll definitely be working on that. The next video you guys will see is it's completely it's going to be done. If I have to put four strands up there, we'll put four up there. But right now we're going to leave it as it is. Each other. They did. They're best friends, I guess. We're gonna leave it how it is, and uh, next time you'll see it, hopefully working correctly. Um, what should they do? Smash that like button, please subscribe, check out more of your videos. That's right.